In today's video, I'm going to be showing off one of my favorite pellet and stick mix combinations I like to use. Extremely simple and to the point, and I love using it. Uh, my last video was a quart of solids bags. I just showed you why I like those compared to anything else on the market. And today I'm just going to kind of walk you through. I had a few people ask me, you know, just how I make my pellets. So I'm going to start out with a little bowl like this. Pick any size you want. Super easy. Next thing, uh, live system uh, pellets from CC Moore. Are you going to do? Put some pellets into your bowl. Doesn't have to be a ton of them. You can see kind of what color they are now. Yeah, just kind of dry looking. Yeah, they're still nice and uh, solid. Next, we're going to use the uh, the dip, the live system dip. You can really pick any additive you want. I prefer dip. Uh, shake it up real good. I prefer a dip because it's a little bit thicker and it kind of sticks to the pellets just a little bit more. So all we're going to do is pour this over. And yeah, use a lot. Don't you know? Don't be scared to use a lot, so you can kind of see how much I use there. And all we're going to do is grab your favorite stick from off the bank and uh, just mix these up. The whole point of this is you just want to make sure the pellets are all coated. And you can hear it's hunting season. You can hear some people shooting off in the distance, so hopefully they don't mistake me for a deer today. Okay, you can see how right now they're kind of glistening. You see that? And we're gonna let this rest for five minutes now. And then in five minutes, I'll show you the final step and then we'll make up a bag. Like I said, super easy. A lot of times when I'm using the pellets, I like to match them to whatever boilie I'm using. So later on, I'm going to be using live system boilies, so I kind of wanted to match it up. And really great year round, but I found this particularly well into the uh, winter months, you know, like you know, September, October. Right? It's actually November right now. And uh, we'll give her a tip for that also later in the video. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Basically, the whole purpose of waiting five minutes, it starts to absorb into the pellet, slightly softens it. Doesn't really soften it too much, so you can crunch it with your hand. It's still solid right now. You can see it's still, yeah, it's still full forming. And what we're going to grab next is our stick mix. Like I said, yeah, I match these up, but you can mix and match. Come up with your own combination. Be creative, and uh, you don't need a lot. I'm using like three parts pellet to one part stick mix. And we're just going to pour this over. Don't really need a whole lot. You can see here, you can kind of see how much I added in there. Again, grab the trusty stick from the bank and just start to mix all this up. And I can see here, I need a little bit more because you can still see some wet uh, pellet. The whole purpose of this is to coat your pellet and it's going to release the traction once the bag pops open. It's going to go up and down in the water. That's, you know, especially if the water a little bit deeper. Yeah, it's going to pull them from the top, pull them from the middle, down to the bottom. So right now, got a real nice looking mix here. You can see the pellet um, has all that stick mix surrounding it. And how this works is once I put it into a bag, it's actually going to you know go up and down. Then once that all comes off the pellet, you'll have the liquid left. And that's going to disperse in the water, pulling them from a long, you know, far distance. And then finally you'll have your pellet and that'll take about 10 minutes till it actually absorbs the water. And then it doesn't actually break down. And that's what I really like about the CC Moore pellets. They're so compacted that they don't break down completely. They just absorb the water. Now once the fish touches it, it'll actually dissolve. It'll actually you know, make a real big cloud. And I watched it one day in my tank at home and it probably makes like a, a foot and a half, two foot cloud, something like that. 
and it's really cool as you see the uh, pellets all across the bottom there and on all sudden as soon as you touch them it just disintegrates so a lot of good attraction now the one tip that I mentioned before this is like I said a year-round combination I do but once you start heading into the colder months where you can kind of you can kind of tell the fish you know they feed heavy into the fall so that's one of my tips there is into the fall they'll feed heavy just because it's 20 degrees outside doesn't mean the water temperature is that cold so you definitely want to remember that because they're going to keep feeding really heavy now once the water does finally cool off to match the outside temperature then they're going to become a little bit lethargic uh, not feeding as heavy but they will still feed so I'll change my ratios of this I won't have as much pellet now add more liquid and stick mix basically just to make more traction in the water so I'll just kind of you know, switch back over to lesser ratios I might do a one-to-one -one ratio or sometimes I'll just go straight stick mix and liquid that way I know it's basically a cloud and the liquid dispersing in the water and uh, so right now I'll just make up my bag real quick and show you how that looks and again yeah just like in my last video quarter solids this one here is a small bag and you can see you know I use them for various uh, situations you know extra small up to the large ones it really depends on like what I'm doing that day fishing wise it's actually really cold out here today so my fingers aren't moving as, as I really want them to okay so I got my bag here and basically we're just gonna load it up at this point and like I've been talking for like a minute or two you want to let these the stick mix just kind of adhere to it for like a minute or two that way it doesn't really come off and just kind of give that a mix around and start to load up your bag there and just push down with your finger that way all corners of the bag have some of the pellet in there now if you're using pellet you can still pack it pretty tight with these bags because they're real flexible and uh, see I just packed it down pretty good so I add a little bit more in and that's gonna be good you want about a three-quarter inch to one inch on the top just so you can fold it over and like it and stick it and you're probably asking why I didn't put lead in there I'm um, yeah I like to be a little bit different from everybody and I just like to use them like how to use a PVS a PVA mesh so I'm gonna lick and stick that over got a little stick mix in my mouth there Oh well, like the corners, one thing I like about these is you can actually add a little bit extra saliva and it's not really going to put a hole in a bag and I mentioned that in my video before just showing off the PVA. Right now you can see my nice little neat bag there and usually how I rig these up is I put my needle through the top here and then my hook point will be in the bottom. And you can see there's no PVA to get stuck around the barb. And then I just, you know, just use a stringer needle, slide it right down, and it's good to go. The smaller ones are really aerodynamic. And the larger ones, you know, they won't fly as far, but they still work pretty well. You know, bigger ones I only use maybe under 70 yards, under 100 yards, something like that. You don't want to really overextend your rods because, you know, you can actually put a lot of weight into here. So that's going to be one of my tips there and I just wanted to show you you know just my everyday bag that I make up so this is gonna be the live system mix and like I said you can use this with any of their pellet range and liquids and it works really good and basically three times the attraction in the water three styles of traction and they all have different times that they'll break down like I said the stick mix will come off first then the liquid then finally the pellet so instead of just having one breakdown like if you'd stuff this full of pellets you know you only have one break time and uh, so if you have three different styles of bait in here then it will break down over different periods of time the other tip you can do is if you do different size pellets they'll break down different times as well so I hope this was uh, helpful to all those who asked about like what I use in my bags and I'm gonna have some other PVA bag videos coming up with other combinations it's worked really well for me through the years so Hope to see you soon, and thanks for subscribing.